Hey everyone, how's it going? So here at Downtown Disney, checking out the latest、uh, reopening without mass experience and seeing what has changed. So we've been to Downtown Disney during the pandemic, and parking was free. So the biggest change here is now they're using the larger parking space only, and three-hour validation parking is、uh, now ten dollars instead of free.、Uh, without validation, it's twenty dollars. And up to sixty six dollars, I think, an increment of five dollars per extra hour. And then, if you do dine in, you get five hours of validate parking. It's still not free, but you only pay ten dollars for five hours. I'm not sure why you would stay at Downtown Disney for five hours unless you're,、um, unless you're having dinner, dessert, and sitting around doing nothing. But two to three hours is typically what you would spend at Downtown Disney.、Uh, there's not much here in comparison in comparison to、um, Disney Spring in Florida. That's a, a different ball game. Hopefully, Downtown Disney will improve in the near future.、Um, what I did notice a huge change here for the EV community is that they install at least fifty to eighty EV charger here. Um, we don't need this because we live nearby. But for those that are traveling from afar, that wants to visit Downtown Disney,、um, they can park here. I would say this is maybe even a hundred. And let's go ahead and park and see how much they charge. It's definitely not free because it's again Disney.、Um, nothing's free here. So let's see. I I assume it's maybe two dollar. Uh, three dollars tops.、Uh, let's see how much it costs per kilowatt. Usually they charge per hour or per minute, not per hour. I'm sorry. So it's around,、uh, yeah, roughly thirty cent a minute. I don't know why they don't charge per kilowatt. So that's pretty pricey, actually. Because I'm not sure I'll be getting the same level two with this charge point charger,、um, so yeah, I'm not gonna be charging here. But if you're desperate, then by all means use these. But it's just probably more for show that Disney is going EV being environmental. But if you're paying ten dollar,、uh, I mean twenty dollar without validation, I would assume they would try to. At least, you know, make this complimentary to motivate people to come. But it's not free, and it's actually quite expensive. Yeah, there there are at least eighty additional EV charge. Actually, there was no EV charger here、uh, in the past, and I've been to Downtown Disney for for decades. So, it's I mean, I'm not complaining. That、they're adding that, especially people coming from afar. So definitely a bonus if you come here. You don't have to worry about、uh, range anxiety if you park here for a few hours. They do have EV charger if you're visiting Disneyland in their structure. They actually added a bunch more. Again, it's not free. It was free during the pandemic,、uh, if I recall correctly, where.、Um, They were reopening,、uh, starting the reopening, or prior to their closure, it was free for a time being. But it wasn't free pre-pandemic, so I wouldn't expect them to make it free post-pandemic.、Um, it is pretty crowded here, so we'll take a stroll around a few loops here in the parking lot.、Uh, but you know, this is during a weekday too. It's like a random Thursday. Um, and it's, it's still crowded for for a weekday.、Uh, weekends, you definitely probably don't want to be here. <clears throat>、um, at least on a Friday or Saturday, if you want to visit here on a weekend, Sunday would probably be the best day. Less people,、uh, more parking space, and it's just overall a better experience. Because downtown Disney is itself is not that big. And they do have some fairly new restaurant that opened up、uh, more recently, 
uh, in the past couple years <clears throat> like black tap uh, do recommend that for their burgers and fries uh, they also have some good shake but their lines is pretty long as well uh, but definitely check this place out if you're in the area and just to show you that you know there is no free parking here not anymore pre-pandemic it was twenty dollars but if you get a validated stamp it would be free uh, for three hours but now it's ten dollar so something to keep in mind if you're coming here and trying to expect uh, to park for free you can find some parking uh, across the street at, uh, at a local Denny's but then you will have to cross you will have to cross Disneyland uh, and also California Adventure from the other side and walk over but you do risk your car being towed but uh, we have parked there in the past with no problems uh, just park it in the back between the Denny's and the apartment but I do not recommend that uh, these days since Disney has been fairly crowded lately. So again, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Catch you all next time.